Dude, the biggest problem with corrective exercise is that people put someone too far progressed forward when they can't handle it. So they're not actually pulling from where they should be pulling from, they're pulling from every place else to accomplish the task that you're asking them to do. All right? So you pull it back and you make them own where they are. And when they can get to that edge, what I call the neural edge, then you can step to the next level. So the client has to earn the right to progress to something. So, you know, pain is very quick, I'm going to go over that, but pain, um, it's a communication system for your body. When you have it, you compensate, survival, and it teaches. So your body learns from it. And that's what I wanted to say with pain, is if that's ever been on board, you need to know that in history. Ten years ago, if somebody tells you they herniated their disc, I want you to think that they have a movement problem. Because I can tell you that their physical therapist that they probably went to for that, just treated the lower back. But my question is, if you herniate your disc in your lower back, or you tear a labor in your hip, I want to know why. That to me is not your problem. That is the end result of your problem. Why did you get that? Why did your left hip hurt and not your right hip? You know, so I have people say, oh, I've always had pain in my left knee. They say, oh, it's just from arthritis and old age. Well, isn't your right knee the same age? How come that doesn't hurt you? 